New patients who go to the dentist may have to get some x-rays done, but it's nothing that should cause you any alarm. Michaela Davidson is a dental hygienist at Polish Dental. Michaela, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me back. <laughs> okay, we know you have to get those x-rays done. Yes. Some people maybe get a little anxiety about them. Why is it important to get them done, though? For sure. So x-rays are great because they show us areas that we can't see just by looking in the mouth clinically. So they show us in between the teeth to check for cavities there. They can check along the roots of the teeth for any infection, any abnormality there. Um, we can take a full mouth that shows kind of the jawbone area, so that would look for like cysts, tumors, anything suspicious that we wouldn't know is there without those x-rays. That's cool. How many, like how many different types of x-rays are there? It's not like one for everything. Right. So at our office, if you're coming in as a new patient, um, we like to take a full mouth series of x-rays. So that's one where we take the bite wing x-rays, which most people are probably more familiar with. We take those once a year otherwise. But for the first visit, we like to take some x-rays that show kind of the roots of the teeth. So this is an example of the bite wing x-rays. Um, this, we're looking for the bone support levels. We're looking for tartar buildup underneath the gum tissue. Um, we're looking for cavities in between the teeth. This is an example of a full mouth x-ray. So you can kind of see that those extra pictures are showing the root structure. So an infection shows up on one of these x-rays as a little black circle, typically around the tip of the root. Now, a lot of people think, well, if I have an abscessed tooth, I'm going to feel that. But you don't always feel that. You can have a chronic infection that just kind of builds over time. And then, of course, on a weekend or a holiday or at the worst time, it's going to flare up and bother. So we like to take these pictures that show the roots of the teeth to see if there's anything else going on and if there's any extra treatment that you need, just so we kind of know everything going on. Um, this is an example of a panoramic x-ray. So this one is great, um, number one in kids, because it shows us all of their permanent teeth that are developing. Um, it can show where the wisdom teeth are and the location of that. But at our office, this is an x-ray that we typically take every five years because it shows all of the roots of the teeth. It shows pretty much everything ear to ear, nose to chin, to check for any cysts, tumors. We can see the sinus area. Um, your sinuses sit right along the roots of those top teeth. So if you ever have like a sinus infection or a cold, people will come in and say, I feel like all of my top teeth are hurting and aching. And sometimes it's more related to the sinuses than it actually is a tooth issue. So it just kind of gives us a really nice overview of everything so that we can kind of see any underlying things going on that maybe you're not even having symptoms with. And how, here's some more, I guess, yeah. what are we looking at here? Yep, so another thing that we do at your first visit at our office is take some digital pictures of your teeth. So we'll take pictures of any past treatment that you've had, fillings, crowns, any chips that you have. Um, this is a picture of an older silver filling. You can kind of see that shadowing around it. There are some little crack lines forming. So fillings are great because they get rid of cavities, of course, but if you've had a filling in your mouth for a really long time, or it's a filling that takes up a ton of tooth structure, it just weakens that tooth and makes it more prone to fracture. So we take digital pictures of the teeth so that as we see you more routinely, we can look and say, oh yeah, this fracture line's been there, we're gonna keep watching it, or you know what, we see some changes, now there's more of a space between the filling and the tooth, and it's time to either replace the filling or move to the next step and do a crown. Um, so really the first visit at our office is a comprehensive visit where we're not just going to necessarily do a cleaning. We want to evaluate your x-rays, the existing treatment that you've had in the past. Um, we check the bone support around the teeth and that kind of determines the type of cleaning that you might need. Um, so there's a lot more that goes into it than just coming in and getting your teeth cleaned. <laughs> I was going to say, how do you put people at ease, especially kids, but yeah. adults too, yep. about getting x-rays done or those pictures taken because you don't even have to leave the chair, I don't think. Right. Do nope. For, for almost all of them, you can stay in the same place. We have the TV on to kind of distract you. Um, that panoramic x-ray, that one that spins all the way around your head, that one you do leave the room for. 
Um, but I think the biggest thing is just explaining everything to our patients, you know, saying this is what it's going to feel like, especially when kids come in and maybe it's their first time. Well, I'll put my finger where the sensor is going to go or I'll show them my camera and let them move it because it can be very intimidating, especially for a kid or even an adult that's been years since they've been in to just not really know, like, what is that first visit going to look like? You know what I mean? So it just kind of puts them at ease to know this is kind of the system and the way that we do everything and we just want we want them to know the more often that they come in the easier everything gets. I was going to say it's the new year. Yeah. A lot of new year's resolutions yep. for someone who might be watching who might be thinking oh this message is meant for me. <laughs> it's time to get back into the dentist chair. Yeah. I mean any words of advice for them as they prepare for that first visit? Yes. Um, you know a lot of insurances will renew the beginning of the year. Not all of them. So it's a great time to come in and see what you all need to have done. If it's been a really, really long time and there are a lot of things that need to be fixed, a lot of things that need to be treated, we just kind of take it one step at a time. We go from the area that's most in need um, to maybe finishing out with some smaller cavities just to kind of break it up to what you're comfortable with. So many people come in and once it's all said and done, they're like, I wish I would have done this years before. And they're embarrassed because it's been 20 years since they've been in, but we truly do see that every single day, you know, where it's been a long time since they've been in. I just think it's great to see these patients come that are so leery and nervous to being like coming in every six months like it's no big deal. And they're like, oh, this wasn't <laughs> yeah, so bad at exactly. all. Exactly. Like, Why have I been doing this? Everybody yeah. says that. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's right. You put on Studio 7-1 and you just take a little <laughs> yes. relax in that chair. You sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you so much, Mikaela. Yes, yeah, of course. And Polish Dental is located in Bismarck and accepting new patients. They utilize state-of-the-art technology with gentle care and create personalized treatment plans for their patients' individual needs. To schedule an appointment, make sure you call 701-222-4746 or 222-GRIN. <laughs>